Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. Today we have another episode of Rock Painting Character Transformation. In this video I am going to paint a marinade miraculous ladybug on top of the rock. I prepared my mat to protect my working space, palette, my acrylic pans, as well as my matte finish setting spray. Now we just need to find a perfect shape of a rock. All right, so here's our fountain. <laughs> and this is the area where I usually get my rocks that I paint. Okay, we need to find a perfect rock for a miraculous ladybug. And the picture that I found online, I think I need something uh, more round shape and it has to be flat. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one is perfect. I have a feeling that if I do too many rock paintings, we may need to get more rocks for our fountain. First thing what I like to do is to use my black acrylic pen and outline the character. I found this picture of Ladybug on internet and I am going to be using this image for inspiration. All right, let's get started. So sketch is finished. Since I have space right here, I am considering adding her hand holding her miraculous yo-yo. Now it's time to start coloring in. I have these two shades of blue, lighter and darker, and I also have white for the highlight on the hair. So let's go ahead and start with her hair. Next, let's add some shadows. We'll see a big contrast, but I'm gonna go in uh, with some white. And this way it's going to look like her hair is glowing. Nice light reflection. Adding a little bit more blue so we don't have the sharp edges. I think it's looking good. And these markers do dry super fast, so that's definitely a huge bonus. Lots of details in her hair, but you know what? I'm trying to make it look as realistic as possible. This is why I'm going back and forth and adding a little bit more color if needed. While I still have this black color marker, I'm going to color the top of her neck before the red portion of her outfit. Next, we are going to color her skin. So right now in the camera, the skin tone looks super light, but it does look pretty similar to the doll version. Next, going in with this red marker. Looks like I still need to mix it a little bit more. So we have, so we have a richer tone and I'm going to color her outfit, her yo-yo, her hand and her mask. 
and we don't have to worry about all the details for now because we are just putting the base tone and after that we can add black circles as well as other details if needed. Looking good, this is like a perfect red color for our ladybug. Next, using my white marker, I am going to color her eyes. Next, her beautiful blue eyes. And let them dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to paint her lips. Yeah, looks like I still have lots of shaking to do with this marker. The color came out way too dark and this is the color I'm looking for. Carefully adding white smile and then with black I'm going to add some details to her ear. And I'm going to Correct some mistakes, add some more definition, and outline in some areas. While her eyes are drying, I am going to add black ladybug circles. Her eyes are still drying, as you see the blue color is still wet. I'm going to use this light blue color acrylic marker and paint the background. But before that, I am going to add her ladybug earrings. And now while earrings are drying, I'm gonna go in with this light blue color to color all the background. It will be easier if I just use the brush and the paint, but you know what? <laughs> I have my markers next to me, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I don't mind the challenge, so let's keep on going. Background took me forever. Meanwhile, I also added some lashes and now I'm going to add some spots to her earrings. I gotta be very, very careful and add small spots. There we go. And now I have to add black dot in her eyes. Also careful because surprisingly that blue color is still not fully dry. And carefully adding a light reflection. And this is it. What do you guys think? I think she looks pretty good. Pretty much identical as this doll. And very similar to the image that I was looking at for inspiration. Time to put all the markers away. 
and spray this rock with this matte finish. As I always say in my rock painting videos, you can use the shiny coat. I like the matte finish just because I do not like reflection and obviously I will be doing this outside and yeah that's it for this video I am very happy with the way our rock painting came out in this video I think Marinette looks absolutely beautiful love all the details and her eyes as well as her hair look super realistic Click the like button if you would like to see a more rock painting videos character transformations on our sweet and crafty YouTube channel it's time for me to go wash my hands and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye!